countries and interacted with many cultures culture is like an onion as you peel peel an onion you see different structures so you have to spend some time with a culture knowing its language then you can see different structures of a culture so language and cultures very connected i will say <clears throat> so this is what i conclude hope i am uh, able to express your topic you. cover your topic clearly <laughs> thank you thank you sir you provide a lot of idea regarding our today's topic uh, yes yes surinder surinder sir you have any question you want to <clears throat> No, I have no question. No, I no, no question. Yes, yes. Surinder, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, Pankaj ji. Yes. Yes. <coughs> Any question? Uh, yes. Uh, just I want to know, Brenda. Uh, what is the medium in Mexico for teaching for learning the uh, subjects like science and mathematics? So. is it english or other language actually uh, uh, the uh, le subject for english it's not a common in primary or middle school uh, the good school it's only in, pri in private school uh, just like in india I know yes, Mexican sir. people are very friendly people, and I had couple of Mexican friends in Germany, and they have lot of influence from Spain, I believe, right? Is it correct, Brenda? Yeah, it's Spanish. It's Spanish, yeah. So they have a lot of uh, influence from Spanish culture and language and food, clothing, and <clears throat> I I love Mexican people. You know. <laughs> Thank so, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, only it's common uh, the school in in English, but only private school. Mm, yeah. It's I have one. Uh, mm. It's a issue because the government uh, talk maybe talk thinking ah oh, the people living near to the USA. and don't need a school language <laughs> but it's not correct actually it's a problem because yeah i live in the border with the usa but never have a subject for english in the university because the university think oh the person live in tijuana and speak english uh -huh. so this but is an no. opportunity Brenda, this is an opportunity for you know people who can speak good English to open English school in Mexico. Yeah, actually, exists a different school, but it's it's a affordable. School. Affordable. It's expensive. Affordable it's schools which are affordable but still you know teach uh, in English. Yeah, so I, all all. Uh huh. All class is in Spanish. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> you have Spanish. And if you can, if you need talk in other <coughs> English, you can pay a private school mm. for learning other English, other language. For example, English, and it's so expensive. Yeah, yeah. So you see, I was born in India, and I understand why English language is so important there. because <clears throat> india was a british colony for almost 150 to 200 years so when they when the britishers they left the country they left a legacy of their own you know language and they they gave a impression that if you know english then only you can survive or you can grow in the society so that's why you know english became very popular and it's like a feudal system still in india like those who can speak english and those who cannot speak english especially in the uh you know village side or not not in the urban side in urban cities most of the people they speak they go to english school <coughs> but in 
village side non urban population yeah. i think is still the medium of uh, teaching is hindi and english is just one one of the subjects which is being taught and also since india is a developing country there is a lot of migration from rural to urban and those who have migrated from rural side to urban side they also have poor english because of you know legacy so i believe the same will be in many developing countries but i also know that in some countries like japan france germany they don't encourage english language because they do not have any legacy from british you know era britishers they were you know they could not uh, colonize these countries so <clears throat> and they are not commonwealth countries so these these things you will find only in commonwealth country same i think applies for mexico where spanish influence was there i think the spanish kings they ruled there for many years am i correct yeah, yeah. so that's why you know this this thing happened same thing for philippines i was in philippines for two weeks i am going again there for the one week on 16th <clears throat> so there also i found that uh, a lot of spanish influence but then americans they they came and they ruled out the spanish and then the last colony colonial colonialism was from americans so you will find a lot of american influence in philippines so their english accent is american this is what i see so in those those period the period of imperialism i think 300 400 years back when a lot of movement was taking place in the world from europe to asia and africa at that time many powerful countries who who had this ability to navigate through sea and they had some industrial development they were going out and colonizing many countries in asia and africa <clears throat> and also in in america latin america and these countries were spain uh, france uh, great britain uh, germans they tried but they couldn't so hitler hitler was trying all these things because of which you know <clears throat> Uh, second world war also took place in 1939 so we can see that the, this these languages are playing a major role still in those countries where which were you know a colony for him from a you know european country <clears throat> and as the uh, technology grew and time passed the power shifted from these european countries to north america us and now the power is shifting again back to you know china not sure of india maybe in next 50 or 100 years so <clears throat> china is has become so the world has become bipolar us and china now so one is in the north america one is in the asia and now that powerful countries are influencing you know further penetration of their own languages so english was already penetrated because of british colonialism but the new language which is you know spreading very fast is chinese language <clears throat> this is what uh, is my observation and uh, <clears throat> i'm not sure what others think so brinda do you have chinese languages schools in uh, mexico no no you don't uh, have it, no no only japanese japanese okay so japanese yes <coughs> you still have influence from spain spain japan and uh, us us is the major influencing country over mexico now <clears throat> in terms of economic growth but in terms of culture culture i think spain is the major influence in mexico <clears throat> Yeah, actual, actually, uh, maybe ten ten days ago, uh, mm. I see a uh, a news. I see mm. one news. Mm. Uh, the news say um, Latin Mexican pe uh, Latin 
I don't know if you know Latin, Latin people, mm -hmm. or Hispanic, Hispanic people. Mm -hmm. uh, these people no speak English. Say say in this news, uh, it's like a change uh, the the name. The Mexican people don't speak Spanish. I speak change the name Spanish for Hispanic, like a Hispan American. Mm. It's a for me. It's a discrimination. <laughs> Ch change the name for Hispa Spanish. It's like a only for people in Spain, not for Mexican people. Why? 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 And the news say chain Spanish Spanish for Hispanic. Mm. Because actually Mexico is a Hispanic Hispanic people. It's no. Latin. It's Latin Latin America. Correct, correct, correct. But for me change the name Spanish for Hispanic. It's a discrimination. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we have a lot of name changes taking place in India also. Every day, name of city and you know places are changing. So this very political thing, change, changing the names of place or language or spelling, you know, this is all derived from political influence. <clears throat> yeah, actually, one. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Please continue, Brenda. Actually, one example is the president, the president of Mexico, don't speak English, only speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is the career or a study by Mexico. Have you visited India, Brenda? No, I never visit India. You should visit Pankaj. Yes, 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 sir. <laughs> so Pankaj has created a platform where mutually people can visit from one place to another place to learn about the culture. <coughs> and yeah, Pank actually, I have actually I have one question. Uh, in the other in the other time, uh, Patrick, sir, say the. Uh, Sanskrit, it's a mother language. Yeah. But so, I don't know, it's it's related with Indian? Yes. Is the same or maybe any word it's similar? So Sanskrit or it's totally or it's totally different. No, no, no. Sanskrit is a mother language of many Indian languages. Like Hindi, Prakrit, Pali. All these languages are derived from Sanskrit. And even in uh, many languages in south of India, like Tamil, uh, Telugu, Kannad, you will see the influence of Sanskrit in their prayers. So <clears throat> Sanskrit is a very, very powerful language. And it's very, they say it is very simple and can express a lot of uh, thoughts, emotions, in few words. Also, it has been recognized as a computer language. I'm not sure any computer language is taking place in Sanskrit right now, but it can be a future computer language also, people say. So yes, you are right. Sanskrit is the mother language, core, core language of many, many Indian languages. In India, more than 800 languages and dialects are there. <clears throat> and about 35, 30 to 35 languages are also recognized in the constitution of India as scheduled languages. Am I correct, Pankanji? Yes, 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 sir. <clears throat> so every village, every city, you change the place, the language changes a bit. I'm sure you have dialects in Spanish also. So from place to place, Few, few words, few sentences will change the way you speak Spanish. So same thing happens in India also. A lot of languages are there. So <coughs> another, <coughs> another factor or importance of 
is standardization of the language on an economy you can see very clearly in china china has also has dialects like cantonese and hokkien and but it is all chinese language but uh, at least they have standardized language and which has moved the country at a faster pace so that you know you don't have to worry about many languages and translation all the time like in india we have we we have very poor standardization of languages so i see standardization can move an economy at a faster pace so in china you have only english or chinese nothing else same thing in uh, france either you have french or english germany also either german or english so <clears throat> i'm not sure in spain i think also spanish and english so likewise in india you have many languages as you change the state i think now how many 28 states or 30 30 35 yes, across 28 28 states so all the states have their own uh, official language plus hindi and english so student this is the problem this is the main problem of india yeah india so it's many languages and many cultures yeah so students have to learn at least three languages like i i learned marathi when i was in maharashtra and english hindi <clears throat> so i was learning three languages <clears throat> and i think in madhya pradesh you have to learn sanskrit english hindi so sanskrit is uh, another language in bihar also you have to learn sanskrit right yes sir in our bihar uh, government school i also sanskrit language for till 10th class yeah yeah so <clears throat> because i change many schools and colleges so i couldn't learn sanskrit at the time when you know this was introduced so i was learning some other language yeah so standardization in language also brings like you see france has very advanced defense technology and all the codes are in uh, french language now if you want to buy any uh, defense object like you know a fighter aircraft or something from france i think it is very easy for them to you know make codes just translate in one language from french to english for i think india is a big buyer of french air, aircrafts <coughs> i think same goes to russia also we cannot ignore russia uh, although it is on war now with ukraine but at one time soviet union they also have only one language is russian so they also standardize their languages they had only russian no english in russia so there there are pros and cons if you have multiple languages like in india you have many many languages the pro is when you go there you don't feel bored every day you can move on from one place to another and you have lot of things to you know see and share sorry i am speaking a lot looks like <clears throat> sir it's um, really very good sir good sir singapore language is what's the language in singapore english tamil malay and chinese four languages so i think it's a not any own language singapore no no those people came from that, that country they yeah they have choice to learn their own uh, mother tongue language like hindi i said even my kids they learn hindi in the school i have heard about uh, singapore that uh, singapore is very populous very crowded country and uh, when i it is very hard to very hard to find space to live in correct. singapore correct so when i came to singapore some 18 19 years ago the population density was about 5000 people per square kilometer now it is 8000 people per square kilometer very dense very dense in india i think 
or maximum yeah, yeah. not more than 300 people per square kilometer in canada i think only two or three people per, per square kilometer so yes it is highly densely populated and singapore cannot grow horizontally it can grow only vertically either above the ground or below the ground yes yeah so that is what they are doing they are digging the earth and making lot of construction below the ground <clears throat> and also above the ground they have already reclaimed uh, about 10% of the uh sea land so you cannot reclaim more than 10% of the sea land otherwise the structure becomes unstable so they have they have also reclaimed that you you understand reclaiming of sea land means you fill fill the you know soil in the banks of the sea and then make it a land you fill up with something in the sea water and i like, like andaman nicobar something no andaman nicobar is an island oh, okay okay suppose andaman nicobar the small land you start growing that land by filling things in water so that yes. is land reclamation from sea so singapore has also completed that <clears throat> so now it cannot grow horizontally anymore But it's a very very small place, very very small, maybe forty five kilometer by forty five kilometer only. It's smaller than many big cities in India. Yes, but but Singapore is a developed, developed country. country. It is developed country. Oh, everything is fully developed. Roads, buildings. It's, it's, it's a old means ancient time, time developed or any. Any government, government, any prime minister or president, president uh, turned this to developing to develop country. Singapore developed in past twenty five thirty years. When I came to Singapore, it was developing, and then now it is developed. Yes. Yeah. Its GDP is very very high, and it has a lot of foreign uh, cash reserve, and it is a big financial hub. in south east asia so you will see many people from all over the world they come here and live here <coughs> we see that as like russia has a petroleum product a lot so what's the good question main products of product of singapore singapore has no natural resources so people are the only resource here <laughs> Yes, sir. No natural. So that is really good. Good, good, good example to other countries, sir. Yeah, very good idea. Even the water comes from Malaysia. <laughs> yes, sir. So they they buy water from Malaysia, then they purify it, they sell it back. So actually, Malaysia pays for selling water to Singapore. so you are you are supplying water at the same time you are paying money yes yeah so this is what so this i think the governance is very good almost zero corruption all the systems they work fully and the bureaucracy is very solid so that is that is why you know the country has grown at a very fast pace Lee Kuan Yew was the founding uh, father of uh, Singapore. He himself cleaned rivers, roads, and then uh, you know enforced a lot of laws, strict punishment laws, to keep Singapore clean and working. So <clears throat> enforcement, law enforcement is very strict here. You may be very influential, very powerful. but once you commit any mistake you have to go to jail or you have to pay fine or something so law is above everybody and they hire very smart people from all around the world and also 
they send their own people to the best schools in the world for example my own son he was sent to cambridge and harvard to study now he is in the he is serving the government as a bureaucrat so they the governance is very very good i think <coughs> and modi also learns a lot from singapore yes sir and, and, and you know he will learn something and go back and anything <coughs> <coughs> It is a really be, very good example to other countries, sir. Yeah, they have no any natural resources, but Singapore, Singapore is a developed country. Yeah. This is really... Big, big achieve. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's a ship, ship, ship roads like that, uh, because there are ships, uh, sea, sea around uh, the Singapore. So, yeah. yeah. Transporting the things to the yes. So that is how Singapore started its economy. Like they took advantage of its strategic uh, geographical position, and all the ships were passing through Singapore port during British time. You know, before that. So shipping was the major industry when Singapore started. Say about. 35 40 years back then slowly they diversified into finance into pharmaceutical into electronics manufacturing and many other value added services and products so <clears throat> many chemical industries are there so yeah. <clears throat> very smart people i would say in the government. Okay. This is an example where government works like a public, uh, private sector. Yes, sir. This is a big difference between yeah. India, suppose, yeah. government department and private department. It's a very big difference we yeah. see. I think Modi is trying to do the same thing. He's also hiring a lot of bureaucrats now from private sector and smart people. Yes, sir. So you see that in infrastructure department, a lot of work completed by privatization, private sector. Private uh, partnership. Yes, 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 sir. Especially the roads. Yes, yes, sir. Roads are, you know, if you want to develop a nation, first you build the road and rails there. So we have a lot of rails, but roads are poor. Now it has improved a lot, I will say. Yes, sir. Last means Nitin Gadkari role is really very good. Yes, in the last, last 10, 15, 20 years, maybe 10 years, a lot of improvement has taken. Even before Nitin, I think a lot of roads were coming up very fast. Yes, sir. Not a lot of bridge because we see that in cities area, a lot of traffic always in morning time, evening time. Mm. But right now, due to new new bridges, it's a some, some belief. belief. Correct, correct. Good. I will take a leave now. I have to do some other things. Yes, yes. Thank, yes, thanks, sir. Yes, thanks, 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 sir. Thanks, sir. Joining us. Joining us. Joining us. Yes, sir. We got this opportunity <laughs> to discuss with you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Brinda. I think, I think yes. Dr. Sanjay sir will say something. It's really good for you also. Yes, it's a good conversation. Say, uh, understand other. It's not a country. It's other maybe city, Singapore, and some so some so different. Yes, Singapore, Singapore is also other other country. It's 
Yeah, it's yeah, another it's country, another but country, it's, it's so different. different. Yes. It's not like, no, it, uh, uh, yes, because, because mention, the, the sir mention, it's not corruption. <laughs> yes, yes. No yeah, zero corruption, <laughs> and it's so different here. <laughs> but it's good, it's good. That, that's why the region, that's why the region, Singapore has no any natural resources, but they, they are developed country. Yeah, actually, I surprised because they they pay other country for water. Yes. I think this uh, Singapore is so expensive. Yes, yes. Because don't have natural resources and they they have pay for all 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 resources. Yes. yes, from the same time to till date, not, not okay. today. Oh, only ancient time. Today, no, no, no. from from ancient time to till date. Water, water purchased from other countries, all things is purchased from other countries. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, but due, due to rule regulation and they are developed country now. Yeah, in four four language, it's a uh, it's not common <laughs> because Mexico the common language is Spanish, but in Singapore is English, uh, Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Those, those people, those people coming from that country they speak that that language. They suppose uh, Chinese people coming from China. Yeah, they are speaking a like Chinese language. So those people came from, I think Singapore is like a, not very ancient, I think, country. You know. Okay. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a very, it's a very small country surrounded by sea. Ah, okay. I run by, by sea. It's an like island. island, you know, means Yeah, it's Iceland. And it's small, a small okay. land. Okay, yeah. Actually, maybe it have many bridges. <laughs> yes, yes. But I think it's but I think it's complicated building a houses in the Iceland because need resources for maybe other countries and try to try to building I don't know one edifice or one a big house. It's complicated, right? Yeah, it's it's a island. Singapore is a island, right? Yes, it's, it's a small land. Yes, you can say that it's is is land because it's surrounded by sea. Mm -hmm. Yes, but but it's a really very good place for living. That's why the reason different different countries people for coming here and living here. It's, I think the climate is also very good due to surrounded by sea. Yeah. It's, uh, Sanjay sir told us it's a really every place you you can see green means every place trees are present. Oh. Yes. It's a good it's place then. Yes, yes. Very good place for visit or enjoy a lot of people visit for holiday like yeah actually actually i have so some souvenirs from singapore because uh, in my company have have different customer from singapore and okay. if uh, in other departments traveling to Singapore 
maybe for one or two weeks and the person give me so souvenir from Singapore okay. uh, in flight it's maybe 16 hours yes existing hours the distance to Mexico and Singapore yes it's a, I think it's a, you can say that it's a near to India because uh, time difference is 2.5 hours only because here now 7 a.m so Singapore time is 9 30. Okay, but what is the distance? Distance, okay, now I have Yeah, no actually, idea. Uh -huh, because in flight, Mexico to Singapore with different scale, scale is 16 hours. Yes, yes because we see that uh, USA to India, it's 17 to 18 hours. Oh, yeah, maybe it's a uh, more distant. Yes, yes, but yes. how many times it's India for Singapore? How many times you need to fly or it's you need to fly, right? Yes, yes. Okay, because it's an inland you need to chip. Chip. Or a boat. Yes, I think CP is also available, but maximum people due to I know that in CP a lot of time taking. So maximum people traveling through aeroplane. Aeroplane, all right. Yeah, you know, in aeroplane, Mexico to Singapore is 16 hours with different scale because next it's one one aeroplane direct to Singapore because it's a long distance. Yes, the yes, people yes. need different scale. That's why the... and my question is yeah and my question is what is the time? Or oh, how many time it's India to Singapore? By, maybe by, two hours yes yes it's, it's, uh, in april more, more, more than more than two hours i think okay maybe three or four yes the prox okay maybe it's no a long time it's maybe a near <laughs> yes Compared to USA or Mexico, it's far near, far near Singapore to India, India, India to Singapore. Okay. It's time, it's time to go, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Due to time, lack of time, other people now left, now left our session. Our session. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the explanation. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.